Storm warnings just issued for parts of Northeast Ohio. Let's get right to Alyssa. Yes, hello. Yeah, we're looking live outside downtown Cleveland where things are fairly quiet, warm conditions, and it's the warm air combining with the cold air that is making for some very dangerous conditions. We do have a severe thunderstorm warning that has just been issued by the National Weather Service. It goes until 7 o'clock tonight, and that does include all of Lorain County, portions of Huron, portions of Erie County. You can see the very intense red that is on the other side of Norwalk and the system continuing to push off toward the northeast. So again, this is the area that we're concerned with for right now. That is a severe thunderstorm warning that is in effect until 7 o'clock tonight. If you are in those areas that I mentioned, Huron, portions of Erie County or Lorain counties, be aware, you've got some very strong winds, gusts up to 60 miles per hour are possible. Also sustained winds of 40 miles per hour. Our entire area along the lakeshore is also in that high wind warning area that goes until 4 a.m. tomorrow, plus the rest of us included in a severe thunderstorm watch that goes until 10 o'clock tonight. That line of thunderstorms continuing to press off toward the northeast and again within that embedded in that system is that one particularly strong thunderstorm cell that we've been watching. It's that long line that you see that extends back past New London toward the other side of Sandusky. In other portions of our area, we're just looking at some light rain. The rain has reached pretty much all of us at this point, except for the extreme eastern portions where it is going to be moving in within the half an hour. I do want to show you the temperature drop off that we're going to be looking at during the overnight hours as that cold front continues to push through. Look at this, starting at around 60 degrees, which is where we are now. Over the next 12 hours, and only 12 hours, we're going to drop 22 degrees to a temperature of 38 degrees by the early morning hours, and here's why. It's a couple of systems, that cold front attached to the warm front and that system of low pressure. The pressure gradient around that low, really tight, and that always indicates strong winds. This is what we're looking at as we go through the 6.30 hours, some pretty strong storms in the area, 7.30. Then, as we get to the 9.30 area, everything things cleared out, we are going to see cloudy skies. However, as we get to the early morning hours, and as I mentioned, that cold front has taken hold, we're going to see some snowfall around here as well as something as a mix in time for kids to get up and open their presents 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Then by the end of the day, things are going to clear out. Bear in mind, storms, strong winds for tonight. Severe thunderstorm warnings for portions of our area, all of us under that thunderstorm watch. Winds could gust as high as 60 miles per hour, sustained potentially up to about 40 miles per hour. Tomorrow, still pretty strong winds gusting to about 45. That mix in the morning hours, certainly windy and much colder with a high tomorrow of only 39 degrees. Quite a shocker after today's 60 degree reading. Once we get through Christmas Day, we're going to be looking at mostly sunny skies and a rebound for Friday. Saturday, warm with temperatures in the 50s. The next system coming in Saturday night to Sunday, and that's going to mean snowfall for Sunday. Many thanks, Elisa. Appreciate it.